there is no hurt no love you see jesus took all our hurts on the cross that's why we see the love of christ if there is no hurt no love i want to say relationship is very important Yes, welcome back to our second episode to all the viewers of Gospel TV. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here is your own host, Dao the Yu, host and the guest. <laughs> anyway, let's start with a prayer. Father, thank you so much that you have given us this uh, um, relationship series, relationship with God and man and woman, Lord. Lord, thank you so much and we believe and hope in you that these words will bring fruits in people life in the name of our lord jesus christ we pray say amen and amen and amen amen it's amazing to be back on our second episode i want to start with something really amazing there is no love without forgiveness and there is no forgiveness without love always remember that love never gives up hallelujah so let's let's begin with the story of Jesus i remember that how much jesus loves us there was a time when lazarus was dead and uh, lazarus was dead and his sister was crying and all yelling and all of going on and when jesus came back jesus came and she said if you come before my brother could not die if you come early my brother will not die she was shaking him oh no you know like worldly stuff i want to say jesus loves never fail and that's why i want to say love never give up always remember one thing martha mary all was screaming there his disciple was shocked now he is going to come back to life is is going to come back to life look at jesus love he said Lazarus kumi just one word in hebrew kumi come out that's it he said Lazarus come out i want to say if you are going through a problem difficulties and have a hard situations i want to say jesus is saying my daughter my son i love you you have to believe in him i want to say god god never gives you dream by looking at your bank statements he gives you because he needs your faith Hallelujah he wants your faith and have faith and rock the world because we live by faith not by sight hallelujah praise the lord i want to say one thing relationship gets stronger when two people are willing to understand the mistake and forgive each other hallelujah i want to say jesus understand that my son's daughter they are going to die they are in sin they are in cancer they are in this problem this disease this disease he died on the cross of calvary he buried he rose up after third day so he rose up to give you life that's what john chapter 3 verse 16 says whoever is believe hallelujah we have to believe in his love because only jesus love is the unconditional love and he is the first who loved us and we love him hallelujah people have people has a problem nowadays oh they when they got a problem they just want to leave jesus that's all because they want a fast solution i want to say when abraham got a promise abraham got a promise i'm going to give you a child sarah was too hurried sarah says no we are not going to get a baby i'm getting old i'm we are not going to be blessed go and i have a baby through my maid or something etc 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 you know what believe the bible said and you will have it i always say me today if you are watching me today 
if you are going through that hard time i want to say jesus loves never give up love is something that never give up and i want to say keep on trusting god keep on trusting god as ibrahim was trusting god there is going to give us that baby blessing if you are watching me and many years you don't have a baby blessing at all i want to say relationship with god is a very important thing if you see any every progress every miracle in bible you see them with the problem starting but end up with a miracle if you are watching me if you have never decided never thought even to pray one hour 35 minutes i want to say start your prayer life start your bible reading life if you are only just reading a bible nothing is happening if you are only just praying nothing is happening you have to read bible you have to spend time with the lord when jesus was on this earth i remember he spent he he do evangelism all day he preached to people he reached people miracles signs wonders walking so much but still he go and spend time with his father hallelujah god wants you to have relationship time with him god wants you come to him he said ask me and i will give you the nations are you are you serious and sensitive enough in your spiritual life if you are serious and sensitive in your spiritual life i'm telling the great things are coming up into your life even you never dream of those things are coming up into your life god is making a way where seems to be no way hallelujah we want just things to happen we want fast and furious things to happen that's all we want faster solutions but i want to say every problem that starts every miracle that you see start with a problem and every problem that starts i speak as being a man of god every problem in your life that started will end up with a good news and miracle in the name of jesus i want to say in john chapter 15 verse 12 says my command is this love each other as i have loved you Christ loved us first and then we love him. Hallelujah. People say oh that God is God is not doing anything in my life. Nothing is changing. Nothing is nothing is going to happen. Are you ready? If you are serious and sensitive in your spiritual life, in your prayer life, get ready. I tell you miracle is your 110% I guarantee you. Relationship gets stronger. when both are willing to understand mistakes and forgive each other hallelujah are you ready to forgive others are you ready to spend time with the lord are you ready are you willing hallelujah if you do then i want to say get ready as the hanna people say a lot about hanna she will never get this she will never have a baby relationship with the lord is very important our god is not emotionally god that he will understand emotions and give you like okay you are crying in emotions or like full following in the emotions and he do it in emotion oh god do it anna did that anna did that anna was like can you you cannot see that what people are doing to me anna did that but the time anna knew lord you gave me and i give you back i said babies after babies your blessings are going to increase in the name of jesus if you are ready to be the blessing for somebody if you are ready to forgive you will see the forgiveness and then you will see the love then you will see the unity peace and things working in your life hallelujah god is good always remember god has an amazing plan and never give up we have some questions from the audience Uh, we got some questions and uh, also you can do send your questions on our gospel tv page you can like it comment it subscribe it do whatever you know it and we got some questions from three real life people questions and you can also send us your questions prayer requests the first question is i have been into the wrong relationship in the past because this person hurts me physically and i know my heart i have already forgiven that person but by my joy is still not get complete hallelujah that's a wonderful word i want to say i want to say something here very 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 amazing thing again 
there is no love without forgiveness and there is no forgiveness without love i want to say forgiveness is an action hallelujah if you are a husband wife watching me if you are a girl boy watching me you are you are in a relationship if you are serious in your relationship then this is for you if you are just joking in your relationship you are playing i want to say when you play with a god temple god is a serious god god loves but at the same time he's serious i remember when i talk about serious seriousness moses god assigned moses to set his people free and god is planning to kill moses on the way i if you are a good reader of bible you know why where i'm talking from because you cannot enter to the next level next position unless you put god fully inside in your heart you cannot you can if 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 you can be in torture in your relationship and if you are a believer watching me where is your prayer life where is your prayer life i want to say prayer is very important in relationship relationship cannot work out without prayer without god relationship if you don't have a relationship with god you will never see your relationship work out hallelujah if you been if you think your joy is not completed get and i want to say relationship is not the meaning okay you have one go for other get divorced go for other those people who do this they have never joy i tell you i'm talking very serious here you will never get a joy even after having 10 husbands you will never have a joy i guarantee you the joy comes from jesus not from husband not from wife hallelujah if you are spending time with the lord you will see your joy complete you will see the person who hurt you hate you you will see the love because whenever the bible says whatever you ask believe and you will have it if you are a prayer warrior if you are a spiritual warrior you 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 are spiritually serious and sensitive i say your relationship is not at wrong even your wrong will be at right i tell you and i want to give you and i want to say guys thank you for uh, giving us the questions too these questions are very much needed in nowadays world and as people are going through okay guys i want to say something really amazing in first question i want to answer you guys here wrong relationship i want to say there are people before they start a relationship they never even pray for but when there's something wrong happen they start praying out that's why i'm telling already in advance be serious and sensitive in your spiritual life you need a fire of god in your life if you are so much on fire i always say um, that's a very important uh, i i had a conference on that title uh, last year few years back be so much on fire so that no mosquito can see the view hallelujah when you are in fire when you are in jesus i want to say even you taken the wrong step believe it don't just because we are not from that dna just give up never give up god is in control remember one thing god is in control and i want to say if you if you think it's too much i have counseled many couples many relationships and i know and i've seen them they were they were divorcing each other like because they were too much in troubles you know what i see they have kids now hallelujah prayer is very important guys if you have prayer life if you have prayer life and and even if you have a relationship you are your husband watching me wife watching me whoever watching me right now and you have a relationship and and and, and you are literally struggling in that before you make the sin pray you know the bible said in jeremiah 29 verse 11 says i have a great plans for you plans to give you hope and a future not to harm you hallelujah if your husband is beating you wife is touching you whatever going on prayer is very important i have seen many testimonies in my own body street many hundreds of testimonies that husbands drink they start beating their wives start torturing their wife you know what stay tuned be still and know that he is your god hallelujah be still and know that he is god in control 
as he changed your life, he's going to change your husband's life. He's going to change your wife's life. Hallelujah. Be still and know that he is good God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to say God, 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 God is preparing things. I say if there is so many bad news, there is a big good news coming then. Leaving is not the solution, but staying and holding and trusting God and waiting for that miracle that will be helping many other lives. That is called faith. Hallelujah. We have a second question. Uh, we have some more questions, but I might do second third. That is, I tried my best to forget everything about him and her. Actually, I'm putting him and her because uh, that is coming from a uh, lady. I think so. I don't know. But but the feeling is coming back again and again. The problem is the feeling is very confusing. It's a love, but at the same time, hurt it and pain every time. As I remember, remember what he has done or he has done in my life. Guys, I want to say, if there is no hurt, no love, love never comes in. You know, you see, Jesus took all our hurts on the cross. Hallelujah. That's why we see the love of Christ. That's why always we love with Jesus. Because he took all our hurts and he died on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. If there is no hurt, no love. I want to say relationship is very important. Because hearing God is not a skill, it's a relationship. You need to hear God. His living is not a point. Or divorce your husband, divorce your wife, whatever. Oh, God will give me another one. No. Forget it. If you cannot even stay with one, people say before they get married, Oh, my father don't like you, my mother don't like you. Be a man, be a woman, come on. I know one thing. When you trust the Lord, He never, he never let you to be in shame. People think God will do wrong. Okay, God will for me to have three, four husbands, three, four wives. No, no, no. The Bible says one lamb been sacrificed and that is Jesus. There are not many lambs been sacrificed for us. Hallelujah. There are not many millions God been sacrificed for us. Only one God comes and that is Jesus Christ. He himself comes and he said, believe and you will have it i want to say if you have a problem in your marriage in your relationship i want to say if you are, if you have a problem confusions i want to say in my life i have confusions when i came to ministry i've been in confusions i was like i see healing in people's life i see miracle happening in people's life but never in my life if the confusion is there i tell you good news is your portion from now in the name of jesus no confusion no great message so there should be confusion no problem when you are confused great things are coming up because i want to say forgiving is not only getting peace it's the giving peace hallelujah if you are ready god is too ready i always say one thing you cannot play with god and you can even not play with temples of god if god has created you if any girl boy watching, husband wife watching me, anybody even older woman man watching me, you cannot play with the humans because they are the temple of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I want to say be serious and sensitive in your spiritual life because the relationship with God is very important and you will know the relationship. You will know the things in advance. I guarantee you, I tell you, I've been through those kind of stuff in my life, in my ministry life. I was confused in my ministry. I was like, I don't know what to do. Prayer fasting should be your portion. Prayer fasting should be a part of your life. It should be your lifestyle, prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. People want to see things, good things happen. People want to have a good relationship. After having 10, 10 20 relationship, 
husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends. I don't want. I don't believe on that even. Girlfriends, boyfriends. God has not brought you for girlfriends, boyfriends. Waste of time. If God has a wife for you, He has for you, because the relationships are made in heaven. Hallelujah. It's not made in in earth. It's made in heaven. And if you met somebody ungodly way, I speak godly foundation to build in Jesus' name. Because because sometimes you don't understand. Sometimes some people come into your life not to give you a message or not to give you teaching. They come into your life because God wants to use you both in an amazing way. Because you are from a different way and she is from different way or he is from different way. Many couples, many husband wife, they don't understand even after getting married that they can do something unique in this world. Hallelujah! They keep on wasting time. That's why I want to say: be serious and sensitive in your spiritual life, and you will know. Then you will. Then this is Bible verse for them. You will seek me. You will find me with all your hearts, and I will be found by you. Hallelujah! There's a third question we have. Until now, I could not forgive the person who left me without the words. It's like, it's like I got a trauma to trust the person again. Will I be able to get through this? Forgiveness again is not getting peace; it's giving peace. Jesus forgive us and He trust us. When God give me ministry, I want to say I was I was very unknown to ministry. My lifestyle was I've been through so much. And I, I got to know that that I need to have a relationship time with the Lord. Guys, relationship with the Lord is very important. I want to say, if you want to see your own relationship, I want to say every ungodly foundation catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. Because sometimes ungodly foundations are built in your relationship of husband wife, and you think, oh, maybe my husband is not listening to me, my wife is not listening to me. You know what? Prayer. Prayer is the hand of faith. Prayer. Pray, pray, pray. I want to say, pray, 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 until something begins. That's why Jesus said to his disciples, "Wake up and pray." We are sleeping. Join night. No prayer. And I came to ministry. I want to say, I have seen thousand million people coming to Jesus, not just because. Okay, done. We spend it time in prayer, fasting. No sleep at night. People are enjoying night. People are enjoying night in clubs, bars, whatever. That's just a temporary joy. Come and go, and that's all. And then they are ready to suicide. They are ready to commit. They are broken. I say every ungodly foundation catch fire in Jesus' name. If you are serious and sensitive in your spiritual life, if you are ready. to do something for the lord if you are ready to take a step of faith i'm talking to you then i then you are on the right page hallelujah people want to see the miracle but nothing's happening because you are not serious and sensitive people always says god are you doing something for me god is looking at you god is not giving you wrong relationships are you making them wrong or right it's up to you if god has given you husband drinking husband God has not brought that person into your life just to leave. God has brought him or her that your prayer will change somebody's life. Your personal time with the Lord will change somebody's life. Life changing in God's hand. We are just the vessel of Christ. We can do prayer, and prayer is the hand of faith. Remember always to transform the miracles, the promises of God into miracles. Hallelujah. Are you listening what I'm saying today? If you've been blessed, if you've been in a relationship time, if you if you are a husband wife watching, and you're thinking we are in trouble, we are in problem, nothing is going to happen. I want to say in Chronicles three verse thirteen says, "Forgive each other as Christ has forgiven you." When you forgive, love come, unity come, peace come. Hallelujah! Be there always. I want to say. There was a time in life when I was just like, okay, maybe something is going to happen in my ministry. Maybe something, maybe something. I never thought cripples will walk, deaf will hear, blind will see, mute people will speak, ears, ears, baby blessings that are stopped will people will get a baby's blessings, prophetic babies will be coming. 
when i got to know relationship with the lord is very important i see the miracles not happening in my ministry only in my own life you are going through people one thing one thing many people has a wrong relationship because they don't listen to their parents the bible says honor your parents respect your parents we don't do it hallelujah in proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 says my children my child obey the teachings of your parents there are many kids they don't respect their parents i was i was like that i never respect my parents i never see things coming out but the time i got to know i have to respect that time i start respecting i have 100000 million people to reach for jesus i see miracles happening things growing things working out praise the lord god has an amazing plan guys respect is very important forgiveness is very important hallelujah praise the lord i want to say do share this do like it comment it and subscribe this channel god sense tv if you are serious and sensitive in your spiritual life and you today from now you committed lord i'm i'm going to spend time with you and now you says lord help me in my relationship help help my husband help my wife leave god never brought somebody in your life just to leave the person just to just to just to bring the person and give you the message no there is a lot to learn in bible not in not in worldly way but in biblical way there is a lot of things even when you read bible you got to know what is world hallelujah that's why i say relationship with the lord is very important hallelujah if joseph was able to reach his dream because of the relationship with the lord if you have a relationship with the lord i say in the name of jesus good news be your portion from now in the mighty name of jesus christ share this show share this message with your friends with hashtag forgiveness relationship and let's do the prayer dear lord i need you i humbly calling out to you i'm tired of doing things my way help me to start doing things your way I invite you into my life to be my Lord and Savior. Fill my emptiness in me with your Holy Spirit and make me whole. Lord, help me to trust you. Help me to love you. Help me to life for you. Help me to understand your grace, your mercy and your peace. Thank you, Lord. And amen. And amen and amen. Yes, congratulations. As you said that prayer. Welcome. Welcome in our brotherhood. Amen. We are excited to have you here again. And um, as I said last time, there is no hate, no love. So if if there is hate, remember there is love too. So no problem. God bless you. Lots of love in Christ Jesus. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. Blessings. Bye.